talk of one of the best gospel ministers, both in word and melody in Nigeria, you would definitely mention the Oil Twins. In this video, I shall be looking quickly but in detail the biography of Lawrence and Goswell Oil. But let us begin with their father. Lawrence, God's will, and their other wonderful siblings were born to this Reverend Gumba Fortune Oyo. He was born on the 18th day of July 1959. He passed on on the 7th day of August 2020. Dr. Fortune Gomba Hoyo was an evangelist as of the time of his passing and he was married to Reverend Mrs. Patience Fortune Hoyo, the woman who gave him the wonderful twins and two other sons. He obtained his first degree from the River State University of Science and Technology, Port Arthur, where he also got his master's. He did his PhD at the University of Ibadan, a city he resided with his family until the day he passed on. Lawrence Oyo and his brother Godwill Oyo were born as twins to this family on the 16th day of June 1991. Obviously, from the father's profile, you would know that they were born into a Christian family who was based in Oyo State Ibadan. Lawrence Oyo is a gospel minister and a prophetic minister. He is well known by Nigerians for his revival chants and songs. Most Christians in Nigeria like learning about this young warrior, both in words and psalms. His great chants make his style of music unique and that of his brother too. He and his brother co-owns the Davidic Ministry which is a global movement that awakens earth to worship and demonstrate the love and power of God. After his primary education in Ibadan, he went to Shalom Christian College Ibadan for his secondary school. After his secondary education, as well as that of his brother, they both gained admission to study law at the prestigious University of Ibadan. That was in 2008. They graduated in 2013. After graduating from the University of Ibadan with a law degree, they proceeded to the Nigerian Law School in Yola, that's the Yola campus. During his university days, Lawrence Oyo was an ESCO in the NCCF, that the chapter of the University of Ibadan. During the time, he usually goes to secondary schools to minister and get teenagers filled with the Spirit of God, according to his personal account. Due to the efficacy of a spirit-filled chant, Lawrence Oyo has traveled around Nigeria to bless people with his beautiful chants. Now, most universities usually invite him to their orientations, matriculation, and even convocation to activate their students with the spirit of prayer, love for the Lord, and also to tap the grace of his prophetic chants. Lawrence Oyo is a young passionate lover and seeker of God Almighty. Apart from the Davidic ministry, Lawrence Oyo and his brother are also pastoring their late father's church, God Will Do It Ministries. The passionate Lawrence Oyo is also the convener of the Battle Axe Retreat Bar. He does a yearly convergence of elder international individuals who are very keen on making progress and actively participating in kingdom advancement. This program usually happens once every year at the close of the year into the new year. His close friends sometimes call him Law, I'm sure as a result of his name and also his profession. Evangelist is also a name 
of Lawrence Royal. So his full name is Lawrence Evangelist Oyo. When it was time for Lawrence Oyo to find his missing rib, he searched for it and finally found it in the house of Mike Bameloye and Gloria Bameloye. Lawrence Oyo got married to Dara Simi Oyo, who is the only daughter of Evangelist Mike Bamiloye and Evangelist Gloria Bamiloye. Just like her husband, she is also a minister but has come in a different way. She is a spoken word artist, actress and TV show host. So how did the love story of these two lovebirds begin? Well, this is it. Lawrence Oil met Dara Simi when Miss Gloria Bamiloye went to visit a disciple who had just gotten married and lived at the house of the Oyos at the time. Well, as destiny will have it, when you want to meet your own, everything will work together for your own good. Dara Simi happened to have followed her mom for that particular visit and that was the first time Lawrence Oyo ever saw his beautiful wife, Dara Simi Mike Bamiloye. At the time, Dara Simi finished school not too long and was preparing for a national youth service call, NYSC. She later served in Kebi State in the northern parts of Nigeria. According to what Lauren Sawyer said, when he first saw Dara Simi, he said, Wow, you are tall. And her response was, Yes, I know. Hmm, now so love begin, oh. Hmm. And that wasn't the end of their love story, but the beginning of Forever Together. On the 10th day of October 2020, they tied the knot and became man and wife. Olua Darasimi Mike Bamiloye is from Elisha in Oshun State. She studied English at the Babcock University. She was born on the 14th day of May as the third and the last child of Evangelist and Mrs. Mike Bamiloye. When it comes to gospel movie production in Nigeria and Africa at large, evangelist Mike Bamiloye is definitely a name to reckon with. He is the founder of the Mount Zion Film Productions in Nigeria. Now over to Goswell Oyo. I don't need to talk about his date of birth and educational qualification because you know already, I already mentioned it earlier on. Just like Lawrence Oyo, his twin brother Goswell Oyo is also married to Mrs. Toju and she is, just like her husband, a practicing lawyer. Apart from being a barrister, Goswell Oyo also co-runs the Davidic Ministerial with his brother Lawrence Oyo. And also, together, they run their late father's church, God Will Do It Ministries. He's also very talented and very passionate, as he does most of his chants with his brother Lawrence Oyo. Although they are twins, but... God's will, Oyo, happened to get married before his twin brother, Lawrence. Just to mention a few among their list of very popular chants. Born the world, prophetic chants, fall in love, royal boats, groaning, ha ha ha. Glory and power, I'm in love with Jesus, Eagle's Flight, the very popular one that brought Lawrence to the limelight, Bulb of Fire. No doubt, just like me, there are a lot of things you like about the Oyo twins. The both of them now and their younger brothers are the one giving joy to their mother who is a widow of their late father. And I'm sure anytime she sees the faces of those twins and their other brothers, happiness and joy will fill her heart because she knows that there is a reason to live and work for. Lawrence Oyo seems to have a very close relationship 
with Sunday Theophilus and Apostle Michael Oropo. Both God's will and Lawrence Oyo have been blessed by God in their marriages and they are beautiful kids to call their home. This has made it possible for their mother to now have grandchildren to play with when they come around. It is the joy of every parent to see their children grow and do things in the good way for God. Now, this is how much I can take in this video. Over to you. What do you like about the Oyos? The Oyo twins, Lawrence and God's will. You can share your thoughts with me via the comment section. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so and help us grow. Click on the subscription button and turn on your notification. This is Ban of Wisdom Varieties.